out to the story we've really been anxiously anticipating. Mm. It's very inspiring, a connection uh, between two major cities. We're talking about the city of Detroit and the city of Austin, Texas. And we want you to meet the men building this bridge between the two. Three men who are about to set out on a journey to raise money and to help three different local charities, really three families and, and people that need help. They're kicking off this ride from right here, downtown Detroit at WDIV, and there's a crowd gathered, as you can see, <laughs> who are very eager to send them off in a big way. Yes, they are cheering right outside of our studio. We're going to take a look, closer look at them and talk to the guys behind this in just a moment. But first, photographer Alex Atwell shows us why their mission is something that's uniquely Detroit. <laughs> We have to realize that we don't know what's going on with the person sitting next to us. When we're right in the midst of sur a surgery, a hospitalization, or something like that, it's, it's hard. And that person might be one situation away from needing our help. But then we have breaks from it where you can see, you know, they seem normal, <laughs> and they're playing, and they're fine, and you almost forget a little bit about what's going on inside. Okay, this is Jacob. He's Hi. 10. <laughs> Carter is back up here, he's five, <laughs> and Weston, he is three. I'm Jacob for Cameron. I have a uh, congenital heart condition. We have five boys, and three of them have congenital heart disease. It means, like, I have a half a heart on my left side of my heart is um, didn't develop. Between the three of them, they've had seven open heart surgeries. The bike rider people. What we want to do is something that could bring a community together. I am riding my bicycle from Detroit to Austin, Texas with two of my friends. Which is crazy. <laughs> I can't even imagine. 1,600 plus miles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Colin, Dane, and Tyler are riding bikes to Detroit to Austin, Texas to raise money for three charities. We chose the Chive Charities, uh, the Coalition of Dwarf Advocacy, which is run by Detroit actor Martin Kleba, and then also Helen Burkham and Hearts. I think it's amazing because my boy's condition and it just doesn't get enough awareness. It doesn't have enough funding. It doesn't have enough people knowing what it's all about. Talk about this family here. Uh, that would be rough because I'd probably start crying. Like, uh, yeah, they're my everything. The boys uh, are a huge part of what we're doing and uh, it, it's, it's our inspiration to keep going. Oh my gosh, they're like, they've literally become like a part of our family. <laughs> to see someone do something so selfless for someone else, they don't even, they didn't even know us, you know? They just heard a story about us, saw some pictures, and then decided, you know, this is what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boys, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have pictures of them on the bikes. You know, to have somebody that doesn't know you care that much, it's... You know, that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new heart replacement. I'm pretty nervous about it. To see their faces and to know that, you know, they're gonna be able to have, a, you know, a heart transplant, you know, and they're gonna be able to not worry about where their next bills are coming from because we'll be able to help them out. It means a lot. I'm really thankful for them and happy so they can save people's lives and stuff. And joining us right now, live in our studio, Dane, Colin, Tyler, uh, three guys who are really heroes to that family. And uh, I gotta tell you, you're inspiring us. That's for sure. Well, that's well, the goal. Yeah, get your bike shorts, let's go. Well, hey, come with us. You don't want to see me in shorts. But, yeah. This is, a, I mean, physically, a pretty grueling undertaking that you're doing. How many miles will you ride a day? And how is this all gonna work? It, it works out to about 80 miles a day on average. Um, so. You know, it's it's gonna. There's a little give and take on each day. Uh, the stretch between Indianapolis and Oklahoma City, we have some some pretty heavy days. But other than that, I think we can do it. What have you done to prepare, other than the plate <laughs> of spaghetti you had last night? Uh, we actually ride pedicabs for a living downtown. Me and uh, Dane, we're the ones you guys will always see down at the Tigers games and all that stuff, carting people around. Uh, so that's been my training for the past couple of years on top of some of the other things I've done. Incredible. And then, well, Colin, talk about how this all came about. <laughs> uh, it was very organic. You know, we were having lunch at our, one of our local favorite uh, restaurants, and we just kind of talked about some of the positive things that we've been doing charity-wise separately 
And then some of the negative things, you know, it's like, is this the right day to throw an event? Is this, you know, uh, the right cost? And we just kind of came with this idea and said, you know, our society is voyeurs where we watch each other on social media and, you know, want to be a part of it in some way. So we came up with this idea and um, we're throwing events along the way. I mean, we have cities like Seattle that is raising money for us. We have Oklahoma City that's just raised wow. 300, or I'm sorry, $3,000, almost wow. like 300. And it's been inspiring that this community of people fall in love with the charities that we're doing and want to be a part of what we're doing. And it, it keeps us wanting to go further and it, it's, it's amazing. Very so quick question, what's the story with the socks? <laughs> we, we, we got, uh, we got to, you're, you, you are superheroes to us. <laughs> yeah. You're really representing well there. Uh, to be honest, at the end of the day, it's all about you know Michael and the boys and and the kids out there, and, and we're we're trying to have fun, you know, and that and that's what's great about it is right. I'm next to these two guys, and we're gonna have a blast. It sounds like it's gonna be a blast. You yeah. have a huge crowd outside. Really quick, Come on if in, anybody guys. wants to donate, wants to follow you as you take mm -hmm. this journey, what should they do? Please visit DetroitToAustin.com. Uh, you can start your own team and do a little fundraiser at your work or with your friends or in your community. Um, we're raising money for Chive Charities, the Coalition of Dwarf Advocacy, started by local actor Martin Clubba, and with this beautiful family, Healing for Cam and Heart. Now, um, I know that you're going to be leaving here in a couple seconds. Literally. So <laughs> we're, we're going to lose that connection that, that this family has with you. You've got, a, got kind of something special uh, planned for, for the boys, don't you? We definitely do. And, uh, but first, we wanted to recognize Michael. Uh, Michael, come up here, please. Um, Michael is a beautiful girl with her friend Charles Norris, uh, no relation to Chuck Norris, <laughs> and she heard about what we were doing and she wanted to help out, so she rode, where'd you ride from? Um, from Novi to Detroit. From Novi to Detroit, so she, uh, oh, she is no Novi to, to Detroit, and she had it in stages, and she inspired a community where she's raised over $3,000, and she's still taking donations, she's still going to ride with Charles, so let's give it up for her. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Michael. It's amazing, Terrific. super inspiring. And then Colin, and just talk to us about this family because you've made a special connection with <laughs> Jen and Jeff. And uh, we did. We boys. wanted to give her something real quick. Um, she's a huge Pirates fan, so if you want to open that up real quick, uh, actor Martin Clubba, uh, who's in Pirates of the Caribbean, sent her a present. Oh wow! Autograph picture to Michael oh. and Charles. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that yes, and then the family. I mean, we. We wanted to be a part of that, and they're our family. So the hardest thing for us is we are not going to be there for Jacob's birthday. Jacob, is how old are you turning? Uh, 11. 11. So uh, it's super sad. So we got him an early birthday present. If you want to pull out the card right there and read what it says. Read the card. Read the card. Big card in your hand, bud. You're coming with us? You're coming to us, and we're having a birthday party for you in Toledo tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we're super excited, and we love this family. We love all our supporters and everybody who's been a part of our journey. But we're not done yet. We've just raised over uh, $21,000, and we want to keep going. So please support us. Follow us on social media, Detroit to Austin. All well, you right. know what? I think your ride is about to start. Yeah, and we've got, we can follow you on Twitter, right? And yep, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook everything. We're, we're out there. So. All right. We need that back because yep. you got to get going. Yep. All right. Have a safe ride. Thank you. Now, yeah, go ahead. and. Uh, there, so the first leg is Toledo. Uh, we can follow them online and social media. What's the hashtag that we watch for, Colin? Hashtag Detroit number two Austin. Okay. Detroit number two Austin. So got to get the helmets on. Yeah. Yeah. And how the first leg is how long? This is called keeping long. 66 miles. 66 miles. Jen, You're I'm going to grab Jen over Fresh here. as a daisy. If you can just give All us right. some perspective. You guys head out. The Good relationship. Luck. Godspeed. The relationship hey, mm -hmm. that they've built with your boys. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> They've done all these events with them now. Right. Um, hey, you, you know, a taco night. Right. All right. All so long, tacos. guys. Take care. You, know, you got to let Captain silly America things, go. Just pedicab rides around Detroit, special little things that, you know, didn't even take much money, just thought and planning. And I guess you got to go with them, too. I, do, I know. <laughs> but new big brothers. I'll Congratulations, you know, Jake. You I'm really excited. <laughs> all right. We'll so, let you go. <laughs> have fun, Jacob. Good deal. Happy birthday. Have a safe trip. 
All right, so there, there they, go. they go. Going out the back door here onto Howard Street. They're going to start off on this 66 mile, the first leg of their journey that will take them all the way to Austin. And I love the idea that we're talking not just two cities coming in together, but maybe as many as a dozen. Well, they talked about places like Seattle and other cities across the country that are joining in the effort. They're making the donations. And so it's an opportunity for really an entire nation to be a part of this. And how organically it started is just pretty awesome. And there, and there goes the family. And, and yeah, Jacob, do you think he's a little bit excited that he gets a <laughs> birthday party early tonight in, in Toledo? And how about how they inspire little Michael to, to ride her bike and, and and take a little journey of her own as well. Three thousand dollars that little girl <laughs> raised. And did you see her the expression on her face? The the, the the guy from the Pirates of the Caribbean that she got that one of the it's his charity that they're riding for and she got an autographed picture and boy did her face light up. Well, I think it's just a special day for that family that you're looking at right there and for some boys that are dealing with something that you can't see, congenitive heart failure. You wouldn't know from the smiles on their faces, but what a significant Seven. gift that that these three men are making to this family and to so many others today. Seven open heart surgeries between mm. those those boys and what they wouldn't know it. Look at the through. smiles. Look a lot at of them. strength right there in that family. <laughs> They're going to jump into the vehicle and follow those guys all the way down to Toledo. And uh, yeah, he's coming <laughs> along, so he's excited. Pretty special. Yeah, and thanks to Sky 4 for getting up and yeah, giving us those that? great shots of the guys <laughs> heading out.